Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Cooking for the Family. I'm Devon and today I'm going to share with you how to make punch bowl cake. If you have never had or made punch bowl cake, it is really simple to put together. It is yummy. It's something that my cousin always makes when we have our family picnics and it is just so good. So first what you want to do is we're going to use one box of yellow cake mix and you want to follow the box directions. The only thing that I do different when I put my um, box cakes together is I use milk in substitution of water. Now although this is a really simple to a dessert to put together, I am going to share with you a few tips that's going to help you make the best punch bowl cake for your friends and for your family. And I'm making this punch bowl cake because I'm getting together with some friends this evening and I said that I would be the dessert to share with everyone. And so one dessert that's definitely uh, for a crowd of people is this punch bowl cake. So I put in the oil and we're using vegetable oil and then I substituted the water for milk and I'm going to be using one cup of milk. Now if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I'm glad you found it. If you are a returner to my channel, welcome back. So my name is Devon like I said earlier. And this is my channel, Cooking for the Family. And on my channel, I share with you what I like to cook and bake for my family in my kitchen. I share family recipes a family story here and there, or either just things that I like to create in my kitchen. So I invite you to not be a stranger, go on and subscribe. And for those who have already subscribed, I appreciate you so much. So in my bowl, I also put in our eggs and that was three eggs that I used and I have the um, eggs at room temperature. And when you put your eggs in, you generally want to try to put your eggs anytime you're making a cake or anything like that. I like to do the eggs one at a time. Start your um, mixer on low and then just let each egg kind of incorporate. And it's just like, those are just like little things like that. But I find that in the end product of your cake, it does tend to make a difference. And also if you happen to have a mixer like I'm using anything that you can have that gathers on the bottom such as like um, the dry mix of the cake you want to make sure that you kind of move around the bottom so to get all the cake mix up and so now we're going to actually be baking our cake in a 13 by 9 pan and what I've done is I've gone on and I've sprayed it with some nonstick spray we have our oven on 350 degrees and so we're going to go on and bake our cake and it's going to bake in the oven for about mm, 30 to 30 to 40 minutes so it should probably be done around 35 minutes I'm gonna actually bake the cake a little bit a few moments longer a few minutes longer than I normally would so it's gonna be a little bit deeper brown uh, deeper golden brown than I normally would do because when we put together our punch bowl cake we want it to be able to really soak up well those juices that are come from the pineapple and from the pudding and so we're gonna be using two boxes of our vanilla instant pudding and these boxes are the 3.4 ounce boxes now in the description box below I will have a list of all the ingredients that you need to make this delicious punch bowl cake for your family also in the future I'll be doing other punch bowl cakes that have different variations there are so many different variations that you can do with this punch bowl cake and become just really creative and with this particular punch bowl cake, bananas, fresh bananas make a wonderful addition. And the fresh bananas would go in right next to the pineapple. So we made our pudding according to the um, directions on the back of the vanilla instant pudding. Now we're also going to chop up some pecans. We're going to be using half a cup of pecans. Now the pecans are optional. Um, you can also use chopped walnuts if you'd like, but I think they really add something a um, little bit extra to the punch bowl cake. Now we're going to drain. You want to drain your two cans of crushed pineapple and we're using 20 ounce cans of crushed pineapples in 100% juice okay and so the juice we drain in we're just going to set that juice aside now in your bowl of your pineapple that I have there in that bowl you still will have a little bit of juice that comes off of those pineapples you want to be sure that you do want to use that little bit of juice that's coming off those pineapples uh, in that bowl you're going to be using that as you scoop up the pineapple when you're making your punch bowl cake okay 
So go on and with our cake, you wanna cut it into squares. You wanna try to get your squares as evenly as possible. And we're gonna have just nice squares that are gonna go nice and evenly into our bowl. So I have a nice, clear, large bowl. At the bottom, I start off with just a little bit of pudding. I like to put a little bit of pudding at the bottom. And then I start layering the cake, the nice squares of cake that I have. Now, when I'm layering my cake, what I like to do is, you see the cut side, the yellow side? I like to face that out because when it comes to making the layers, it's gonna make a really beautiful presentation. So you want to be really consistent with the layers and make sure that the, uh, the yellow part of the cake is facing outward in the bowl. Then I go on and I finish in the inside and you want to kind of pack it as firmly as you can get then next we're going to go on and put that layer of the vanilla pudding and we're going to be using half of the vanilla pudding that we have in our mixing bowl you're going to cover all of your layers of your cake all the way to the very edge covered all over just like I'm doing there and just kind of push the pudding all the way to the edge what you're going to be doing is as you're pushing the pudding to the edge and you've got your cake layered to the edge you're going to be making those nice layers that help to give a beautiful presentation to your dessert next on top of the pudding we're going to put one can of our cherry pie filling and you're going to use the total can and just go on the same thing you want to be mindful when you're putting on your layers that you're not letting your layers mix so you want to be kind of gentle and just use the back of your spoon like I'm doing and just kind of gently spoon around all the way and make sure that you're taking those layers all the way to the edge so the layers are going from edge to edge for the bowl then next we're going to go on and put in our crushed pineapple I just kind of rotate my bowl just like this now in the description box below, I also have a low sugar chocolate trifle that I also do and it comes out beautifully. So in the description box below, I'll have a link to that video as well. So once we have our half of our pineapple, so we use half of the pineapple, next we're going to put in our Cool Whip and we're going to put in one full canister, one full container of our Cool Whip topping. Also, homemade whipped cream works excellent in this recipe. In the description box below, I'll have my recipe for homemade whipped cream if you'd like to use whipped cream uh, in substitute of using the Cool Whip. So with the Cool Whip, you wanna go on and just spread it all the way, just like that to the edge. Now next, we're gonna be using the rest of our cake. Now you may have a few pieces of cake left, and if you have a little bit of scoop of this or a little scoop of that, I just call those bonus ingredients, and I just go on and make a little bit of a punch bowl cake in a cup to the side. And usually my husband or one of the kids just goes on and enjoys that. And you want to make sure that you go on and pat your cake down, just like I'm doing there. Just go on and kind of pat it down. We're working our way up to the top. It's looking good. Okay. So we're going to go on and put in our last of our pudding, which is the second half of the pudding. Go on and smear it all over, just like that. Make sure that you get all down in there. The little nooks, the little crannies that I say, just like that. Go all the way to the edge. Then we go on, we put in that second can of the cherry pie filling. It's going to be a tight fit, y'all, but I think, I think we can do it. And so we're going to go on and finish up right there with the cherries all the way. And then next, we're going to put on the rest of the pineapple, that other half of the pineapple that we have. Just go on and put it all around, just like that. Rotate your bowl. Then the last of the Cool Whip. Now with the Cool Whip, we won't be using the entire container of Cool Whip, but we're gonna use about three-fourths of the container. Now with the last layer of Cool Whip, I actually don't go to the edge. I just go almost to the edge because I want, just for presentation, I wanna be able to see that pineapple and the cherry kind of sticking out right underneath that Cool Whip. And I just think it looks just so good just like that. And this punch bowl cake is not only great during the wonderful summer season, but it's also great during the holiday time. It makes a wonderful dessert if you're gonna have that nice holiday party or for Thanksgiving to have a nice dessert. And this is just something that you can really have all year long with your friends and with your family. Now, once I have my Cool Whip on top, you see how I take the back of my spoon and I make a swirl? That swirl indentation around the edge of the Cool Whip right there is where I'm going to end up putting my chopped pecans. You see how the little swirl pattern that I made? I just take the chopped pecans and I go all the way around in one layer. And you want to let your punch bowl cake sit in the refrigerator, set up and chill for at least eight hours. 
But if you can let it chill in the refrigerator overnight for about 12 hours, it's even better. Well, we are done with our punch bowl cake and it is looking so good. Well, I think we've done a beautiful job, y'all. I'm gonna go on and put the punch bowl cake in the refrigerator. I'm gonna let it chill. I will see y'all tonight at my friend's home and that is when we will give it a try. Well, we are at my friend's house we are in her kitchen it is friday night the ladies are hanging out we are having a good time it is time for dessert i'm gonna go on and serve us up some of our wonderful punch bowl cake they cannot wait to try it i'm gonna go on and give y'all the first bite we're gonna see how we did oh my gosh this is looking so good these layers the cherries the pineapple Oh my gosh, that whipped topping on top. I'm gonna get your bite ready, here we go. This bite right there, that's for you. Okay, I'm gonna go on and have a bite. I'm gonna see how we did. Mmm, oh my goodness, y'all. This punch bowl cake came out so good. I cannot wait to enjoy the rest of it with my friends. Well, that is it for me today, y'all. If you like this video, don't forget to show it some love. Give it a thumbs up. Click share, share this video with a friend or family, and remember it's always good when Devon is cooking for the family. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.